Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Does anybody want to volunteer to pray? Yeah? Who wants to raise their hand first? <laughs> Who wants to raise their hand last? Oh, there we go. Okay, I know we got one. <laughs> Heavenly Father, please bless this day as we go to church in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Wonderful prayer. Beautiful prayer. Thank you so much. <sighs> I want to tell you guys a story. You ready for this one? Okay. When I was young, right about your age, I was at home, right? And my mother and my father, they were about to go. to. I think they were going to go to the store. They were going to go pick something up. And um, as they were leaving, they said, okay, um, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you could, if you have time, you know, they said, we need you to clean up the kitchen. And we need you like to do the dishes and clean up your room and so forth. And, and, um, and then we'll come back and I'll see you when we get back. And I was like, okay, no problem. And you know what happened? After they left, I fell asleep. Me and my brother. I got a younger brother too. Yeah, just like you. And I fell asleep, right? And when they came back, I literally had just woken up, like right before they came back, right? And um, even as I was awake and they hadn't got back yet, I didn't do the chores, you know? I was like, oh, I could just kind of do them later, you know? And they got back and they saw the kitchen still wasn't cleaned, right? And they were like, we asked you to clean the kitchen, you guys, and to clean your rooms, right? What happened? And I was like, well, we fell asleep, I'm sorry. And they're like, oh, well, we needed the, the, the kitchen clean because we were going to come back and we were going to cook. We were going to make pizza. We were going to do all this. I know. I know, right? I missed out, right? And so you know what I learned? I was like, they were like, you know what? They was like, Chris, you have to make sure that when someone asks you to do something or we have an opportunity to help somebody else out, right, uh, you know, or sometimes without them even asking you, right, that's like, you volunteering to help out, right? So we you know what I learned. I was like, they said, you know, Chris, always be the first one to volunteer, right? So when someone asks you to do something, you should be like, okay, I'll be the first one. I'll do it, right? And so I learned that. And so even when I grew up, everything I did, right, when someone said, well, uh, who wants to go pick up the books or who wants to go and do this, I was like, I'll do it. I was always the first one to do it, you know what I mean? And the reason why I did it always because there was two things, actually, is because, number one, when, whenever you volunteer first and you raise your hand first, you're always ready to, to, to help out first, it kind of feels good inside, you know? But also, I realized I was helping somebody else out. The other person was happy, too, and, right? And then sometimes, there might be even a reward for you. Like, that day, if I would have, like, cleaned up the kitchen... I would have got like pizza or maybe even like some ice cream or something like that. But the kitchen wasn't clean, so they couldn't do anything. So because of that, because I didn't volunteer, I didn't know. And we don't want to do everything for a reward, but there would have been nice things on the horizon if I would have done that. Does that make sense? I just want to read a couple of scriptures here for you before we close. Let's see what the, let's see what the Bible talks about. Just some of these different things. And let's see if my phone can go right to where... I was at, okay, this one's from the book of Acts, uh, chapter 20, verse 35, it says, in everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work, we must help the weak, remembering the words of Lord Jesus himself, who said, it is more blessed to give than it is to receive, right? That's like volunteering and helping somebody else out, right? Amen? Okay, um, let me see if I can find one more here for you guys, a real good one. Uh, I have two, actually. This is one I liked as well. This one comes from 1 John 3, 18. Dear children, let us not love with words or speak, but with actions and truth, right? So sometimes when we want to, like, say, do you love your parents? You say, yeah, but, but, but you just said yes with your speech, right? But you can also show with your actions, Right? Okay, last one. 1 Peter uh, 4, verse 10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So if I asked you guys, I said, I need you to volunteer to help me out with something. Who's going to raise their hand first? Well, I saw one, but it was close, so I'll say it's a tie between all three. Amen. 
Thank you guys for listening so much today. Who wants to close in prayer? <laughs> okay, come on, you can do it first. Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us to church safely, and please bless us as we're here. In Jesus' name, amen.